hoping that you guys can see me here. The lighting is kind of bad. Okay, welcome to part two. Um, so, I've been kind of thinking about movies that should be having more love, honestly, and we're going to do a top five countdown this time instead of three. Um, so, let's start it off at number five, and let's go with The Great Outdoors. The Great Outdoors, Dan Aykroyd, and long live John Candy. The guy is a genius. I don't care. Um, without John Candy, we wouldn't have a lot of the great movies that we had. Um, number four, and I've had to think long and hard about this, but I'm going to say, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Um, so... I think that Rick Moranis is a genius too. Obviously, his his time with Spaceballs is another movie that he was in, which was incredibly awesome. Um, number three, I'm gonna say Batman. Um, Batman, the first movie with Jack Nicholson and Michael Keaton. I think that that movie is amazing. It should be on this countdown. Um, and number two, oh, hang on here. I'm going to say Desperately Seeking Susan. Um, now, that is a Madonna movie, but it's not an average role for her because, you know, she basically spends the whole entire movie being chased by killers who are trying to find something that um, she finds at a pawn shop. Um, that movie is really good. I enjoy it. It's, it's pretty interesting. Um... And the number one, honestly, is War Games. Uh, War Games is a Matthew Broderick movie. Uh, it is really good if you've never seen it. Um, I definitely recommend it. Um, five stars. The plot is really good. It's basically about a young guy who dabbles in early computer uh, technology and trying to basically hack into... A, well government servers and things like that and he basically gets in trouble and he discovers a program um, you know that could change basically our society um, now there are some mentionable movies that um, unfortunately I couldn't add to this countdown because I could only do a top five um, and one of those is weird science Caddyshack is another one Scrooged um, and I have to be honest, I'm going to have to say, well, License to Drive should be on here too. That's just an, a, another mentionable movie that I definitely recommend watching if you like uh, earlier you know, comedy movies from the 80s. So this is part two. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Drizzle out.